TJ, look at your baby sister. You know how the size of daddy's hands. Look at daddy's thumb compared to her hand, okay? She's really small. He had been asking for a sibling forever. My husband and I sat him down at the table and just said, you know, we got something to tell you. Um, you know, I got a baby in my belly, you're gonna be a big brother. And literally you could see the tears welling up and him just starting to cry because he was just so excited that he had prayed so long that he would have a sibling. Because of her age, she is a higher risk. And so I was at home with uh, TJ and I got a call, get in here. We were not planning on the emergency of it, but we knew that that was a possibility. My water broke, so at 35 weeks, she was coming. So I made it here in about 20 minutes. I missed the birth by about 20 seconds. I w had such a peace about being in that operating room. I really felt God's protection, and I felt that I couldn't be in more capable hands. When we were in the NICU, my husband and I couldn't be t up here together, and we couldn't bring our son up, which he was dying at home to meet his sibling. So they FaceTime back and forth and gotten to introduce and see each other that way. With all this COVID situation that is happening right now, um, I try to put myself as a mom, because I'm a mom myself, and um, to understand that they're in a very difficult situation. And if I was in that situation, I would be a little bit stressed out of everything. So I try to make the connection and, and letting them know that I understand where they, like, where they are right now. Right after we gave birth, the, I think it was the day after, um, Christina came in and said, you know, hey, I can understand that, you know, you got a son and he can't come up and meet her and stuff and we want to make everything, a, uh, him a part of the experience. So put it together a bag and send it home with a onesie, a white onesie with some markers for him to decorate. And so he saw that and he was so excited. He got to work and did the onesie and then he drew some pictures, even though the situation was uh, emergency at times that everybody always had me laughing and in good spirits and you know it, it was amazing I couldn't ask for anything better I am extremely excited I really have no idea what I'm gonna do to finally bring her home is gonna be an awesome I admit I am not completely ready. I am still working on getting the bedroom set up, but having her home is gonna to be totally life-changing. I thank you all your wonderful doctors and nurses for helping my little sister. You're all my heroes. We love you.